These are live visuals coming in from the Indira Gandhi International Airport where the French President Emmanuel Macron is walking that flight of stairs. He has arrived in New Delhi and will be taking part in the G20 summit. These are live visuals of the French President Emmanuel Macron who has just touched down in the Indian national capital New Delhi and will be attending the G20 summit. We can uh, see the visuals right out there. He's being greeted by the Indian delegation. The French president will also hold a bilateral with the Indian prime minister tomorrow. That is on the 10th of September. And uh, we can see how the French president, Emmanuel Macron, uh, is being welcomed with a cultural show right now. Uh, we can see him waving at the, the dancers there who are, who are welcoming the French president, Emmanuel Macron, as he touches down in the Indian national capital, New Delhi. Where the visuals, the vibrant, uh, soft power of India right out there. visuals of the French President Emmanuel Macron who has landed in New Delhi to attend the G20 summit. He is greeted with a cultural show which clearly shows India as a soft power on display. And we can see how Macron did a namaste there as he landed at the Indira Gandhi International Airport. These are live visuals of the French President Emmanuel Macron, who has just landed in New Delhi and will be attending the G20 summit. He will be holding a working lunch with the Indian Prime Minister on the 10th of September. Well, for more on this, so we're now being joined by Principal Diplomatic Correspondent Siddhant Sibyl, who's joining us live from uh, Bharat Mandapam, the G20 venue uh, summit place. Now, hi Siddhant, we just saw how the French President Emmanuel Macron has landed in New Delhi. He will be holding a working lunch with Indian Prime Minister on the 10th of September. What can we expect on that front? Well, uh, we know that India-France relationship has been a close one and the Indian Prime Minister, in fact, was in uh, France earlier this year when we saw that uh, the Indian Prime Minister was invited for uh, the Bastille Day uh, parade. But largely when it comes to the relationship, there are many pillars to this relationship, including defense and space cooperation. Uh, what we are learning is that uh, there will be uh, a press conference as well by the French side here uh, at Bharat Mandapam and uh, we also know that uh, when it comes to his larger visit he also travels to Dhaka after concluding his Delhi visit but here in Delhi he not only takes part uh, in uh, the G20 summit but all important uh, meeting with the Indian Prime Minister too reaffirm uh, the strong partnership and relationship. Uh, now the French side is very keen that Indian students travel to France for education and for that they are keen uh, uh, when it comes to giving some kind of uh, uh, waivers or perhaps uh, 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 there will be fairs as well, students fair as well but all in all if we talk about this relationship it is being seen as an important relationship at a time when we know that uh, the India a Russia relationship, while it continues to grow, uh, it has its own limitations because of the ongoing uh, Ukraine conflict and uh, uh, the French not only provide India with defense but also with that all important uh, UNSC veto when it comes to the Chinese uh, or of course uh, Chinese at the behest of Pakistanis trying to rake up issues which 
India is not in favor of. So all in all, many would like to sum it up by saying that the French have been the new best friend of India in a world of geopolitics which is ever changing. Right, Siddhant, uh, we're also learning that the French president will also have bilateral meetings with other world leaders, including the, uh, the Brazilian uh, president and also the Indonesian president. Uh, what can you tell us on that? Well, yes, uh, uh, usually multilateral uh, summits provide opportunity to engage with other world leaders as well and the French president is no different. In fact, uh, uh, we know that the Italian Prime Minister and the uh, the British Prime Minister had a meeting, uh, the uh, uh, Australian Prime Minister had a meeting with the European leadership and the French president is going to have a number of meetings, including with an expected meet uh, uh, with, the leaders of Saudi, with the leader of Saudi Arabia as well. We have to wait and watch as to what is the final confirmation list of the bilaterals which are scheduled uh, for the French side but all in all we know that the French side will be uh, trying to focus on the, their Indo-Pacific vision as well uh, France was the first country when it comes to uh, coming up with the Indo-Pacific vision from Europe and uh, for them India is an important and a strong partner in the region where of course uh, France is seen as the resident power given that it has number of territories in uh, the region. So all in all a lot of uh, important bilaterals for the French president but also a message to Delhi as to how France uh, is uh, a country with whom India can have partnership uh, in a world which is changing fast. Absolutely, Siddhant. Now, just before the French president's arrival, the delegates of the G20 members reportedly agreed on a compromise on the joint communique like last year. The group remains divided over the language on the Ukraine war. What more can you tell us on this? Well, as of now, there is no official word on this issue and I do expect a lot of reports in next 12 hours or uh, next 24 hours as to whether there will be a joint statement or not. And this is where every summit has this deja vu feeling that will the delegates agree over a certain para or not. It's similar in other summits as well, but the Delhi summit is crucial given the fact that there are serious concerns that will there be a joint statement after this summit because of the ongoing divide between Russia and uh, uh, the uh, Western countries, the uh, Western countries led by the uh, US. But all in all, we know that India will be trying to bridge that divide between the two warring fractions and essentially focus from India's side will be uh, that yes, uh, the, the uh, Ukraine conflict is something that has its impact on global food, fuel. Uh, and commodity prices that impacts the global south but uh, the problems of the global south should also be talked about by uh, these western countries and uh, that is the priority and we saw how india earlier today uh, welcomed european uh, the african union to become a member of the g20 grouping which is seen as one of the biggest outcome of the delhi g20 summit Right, so the last question to you before we let you go the indian prime minister narendra modi will be holding four bilaterals today uh, the latest one, which is just going to take place just a short while from now, is with the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak. Uh, what will dominate the talks when both uh, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak sit down? Well, uh, the Indian Prime Minister has 15 bilaterals. Three bilaterals happened yesterday, Mauritius, Bangladesh and US. Today, as you pointed out, uh, uh, the meeting with the British Prime Minister, I believe that it must have started by now. And then, of course, with the German Chancellor, with the Japanese Prime Minister and later in the evening with the Italian Prime Minister. Now, specifically coming to uh, the bilateral meeting with the British Prime Minister. Now, this is a relationship which is historic in many senses. There's a long uh, connection and the people-to-people -people relationship forms a strong bedrock but all in all when the meeting happens uh, many will be looking at the visuals of course uh, the Indian Prime Minister meeting uh, and holding a bilateral meeting with the first Indian origin Prime Minister of United Kingdom on the table will be issues like trade both sides are working on a trade pact a free trade agreement pact there are a number of rounds uh, 
which have happened and hopefully there will be more rounds and both sides are eager to conclude it. Uh, essentially that remains one of the key focus area. Also how both countries can work together in right. the Indo-Pacific with London's Indo-Pacific tilt. But there are certain concerns as well. One of course is the Khalistani concern over Khalistani right extremism now. in UK. We know that the Indian mission has come under attack and vandalization several times yes. including earlier this year when the Indian mission was attacked. Act Absolutely by the Khalistani plan. extremists. So that right. is something that is expected to be uh, part of the conversation. Right so all in all an important bilateral, a bilateral that will of course uh, provide direction to the relationship between the two countries. Absolutely, Sudan. Thank you so much for joining us and we're on sharing insights with us. We'll, we'll of course be tracking uh, Prime Minister Modi's bilaterals very closely here on Vyond. But thanks very much for joining us.